my family is flying back to New York from Seattle, so I'm gonna make some sandwiches for the airplane because there's no kosher food besides some snacks in the airport in Seattle. So we can't like get anything at the airport and there definitely is no kosher food on the airplane except for some snacks. So I have these buns that we took out of the freezer. There's not a lot of bread in the house because Pesach just ended and we don't eat any kind of bread on Pesach or Passover. So I have these brioche buns, my dad said they are. They look like hot dog buns, but I have a little leftover schnitzel, chicken schnitzel from Pesach. This has, I don't even know what's on it. I think there's some matzo meal on it, but it's so good. And then this meat, look at the color. Look at the color of this meat. So we're gonna have some meat sandwiches of, I don't even know what this is, some kind of steak and some schnitzel sandwiches on the airplane, which means that we will be meat on the airplane. It's a long ride, so it's a long flight. It's like five and a half hours. So we can literally eat these as we get on the plane and three hours later we can have dairy, so that's fine. Just look at the color. It's beautiful. And some families that keep kosher wait six hours between meat and dairy. And our family, it's our custom to wait three hours. And for anybody who's like, don't bring food on the plane. You shouldn't be eating on the plane. We, we gotta eat. Yes, people actually tell me not to bring food on the plane. It's, it's kind of crazy. And there's no issue going through TSA with it, as long as you don't have like big things of sauces. Or I just learned from somebody that cream cheese, if you have like a tub of cream cheese, they might take that away too. This is the finished sandwich. And then we just wrap them up, write everybody's names on them so we don't get confused because Nora doesn't like sauce.